what is Buddy Heel doing? This ball gets dunked to the post. So I'm immediately rotating down. Halfway between the ball and the three-point line. Head on a swivel. Seeing both. Look at this ball gets thrown down. What is Buddy Heel doing? Just staring at the ball, not moving. DiVincenzo relocates, handoff too. I cannot believe this. This, it just haunts my dreams. Dante DiVincenzo has been red hot lately. Don't give him an open three off a screen. Hedge the screen. No place for Hartenstein to roll till you push him out. Your ball screen defense is to give DiVincenzo open threes. I can't even imagine. Andrew Nemhard's turn to be in outer space. You're going to the elbow. All right, fine. We're seeing ball, we're seeing man. Pointers out. Look at Andrew Nemhard. How long were you planning on not seeing Dante DiVincenzo for? That's wild. Aaron Nesmith, wait for the screen to get set. Then you'll guard the screen. See, you're coming uphill anticipating a screen. So as you're coming uphill, there doesn't even need to be a screen. Jalen Brunson is going to blow right by you downhill. This is one of the eight zillion issues with drop coverage. If I hedge, I cut that dribble off. Now the backside up doesn't have to be there for very long at all. And if a skip pass is made, I can easily rotate. When you run drop coverage, DiVincenzo gets to keep his dribble alive for forever. So Obi Toppin's got to stay in backside help for forever. So now his man, Achiu, is cut, is wide open for forever. More of this nonsense. This is not defense. This is ice the screen. The si We're keeping DiVincenzo to the sideline. I have a bevy of backside defenders waiting for Hartenstein. This isn't defense. So DiVincenzo gets to walk right in the paint, collapsing four Pacers defenders on the ball. Wide open. Wide open. You do not go over a handoff here. You're giving away points. Miles Turner, get up and jam Isaiah Hartenstein using your body. Show your hand so Jalen Brunson doesn't pull right off the handoff. And Nemhard goes under, meeting Jalen Brunson on the other side. You go over. These are just practice shots now. Look at this. Buddy Heald's got to try and battle in the post here. Pascal Siakam's dropped to the free throw line. So get up. There's you're, too much space. Get up and battle for a position, forcing Brunson to the middle of the floor. You're just playing off and letting Brunson walk you down and walk you down away from any help. If Tyrese Halliburton is switching this handoff, then you got to stay up with Miles McBride so you're ready to guard Brunson on the handoff. What are you, look at how far off you're playing. You're not even close to ready to guard. You're coming uphill now. Brunson's going directly downhill. Aaron Nesmith's going to be late getting to the ball in transition here. But don't worry, the Pacers have numbers defensively. It is a two on five fast break right now. So, Miles Turner, you're taking Miles McBride. Say it. So Tyrese Albert knows, okay, I'm going to get up and be in help. One of you two needs to be in help. Ben Shepard's in help. Pascal Siakam's in help. So you're Nesmith. You want to force Jalen Brunson to where you have all this extra help, extra bodies. The Pacers have numbers defensively. How does it look like this where two people are going to the corner, Ben Shepard's above the three-point line, no one's in help, and that was criminal. Cannot happen. There's 5.8 seconds left in the half. Ben Shepard's not even playing defense. Sprint back. Get in a defensive stance on the palms of your feet, ready to slide your feet. All you're doing is backpedaling as Jalen Brunson's going downhill. You're going to get beat. Andrew Nemhard's in the middle of the floor waiting to help. Aaron Nesmith should be getting over and help, but it doesn't matter. You're just backpedaling and backpedaling and backpedaling and backpedaling, not guarding the ball. So Aaron Nesmith's going to be off balance because he's gambling and crowding Jalen Brunson as opposed to just showing his hands, being ready to slide his feet. So you're off balance. Now, do the Pacers work on where their help coverage comes from? Tyrese Albert and standing in help. I guess you got to communicate this. You're Aaron Nesmith. Just make sure up, forcing Jalen Brunson into that help. Look how you're over. This is unbelievable. You're overplaying to where the help is so that Jalen Brunson can spin away from the help. Insane. Shot goes up. Aaron Nesmith's got to get back right now. You got to start to get back. You can't have four pacers beneath the free throw line when this rebound comes off. Because now when the Knicks get it, they're off and running with them. Look at Aaron Nesmith. And you're walking back. This is everything you cannot do in transition. Tyrese Halliburton. Don't go towards the ball. Get back. You go towards the ball and a single hit ahead pass, and now you're out of the play, and the Knicks have numbers for no reason again. The Pacers are switching, then you switch now. 
Obi Toppin's up, level to Precious Achiua. In a defensive stance, ready to slide his feet. Nesmith switching on to Achiua. You're starting in drop coverage here. And then you're like, well, never mind. Now I want to switch. Well, Obi Toppin was backpedaling because he was in drop coverage. So now he's got to come back up to guard Brunson, who's just going to go right downhill on him. First of all, Ben Shepard's doing what you can't do. Lean towards the screen. You'd want to hedge this screen with the sideline there anyways. You lean towards it early and get blown by the other way. But Siakam's in help right here. Why is Obi Toppin just staring at the ball? Could we f see Precious Achiua and then box out Precious Achiua? Wow. The importance of stopping the ball early in transition. Obi Toppin's back in help. Now, I guess he needs to be communicating this because Andrew Nemhard, you got to get up and stop the ball. Now, Obi Toppin can help and then just recover to DiVincenzo, but you don't stop the ball. You backpedal. So now, Obi Toppin's got to walk all the way to the rim. Not going to be able to get out to DiVincenzo. Pump fake and go. Miles McBride three. Here it is again. You can already see it happening. Andrew Nemhard looking for a screen. Just guard. Just play defense. If a screen comes, will teammate will let you know. But you're looking for a screen, leaning towards it obviously early, and beat again. Just effort in transition, I don't understand. Why can't Jalen Smith sprint to Miles McBride? Aaron Nesmith taking Josh Hart. Look at Jalen Smith. Why are you slowing down and giving up an open three now? I can't believe that this is how a professional basketball team looks. I refuse to. Buddy Heald's taking Josh Hart. So Jalen Smith, uh, you got to guard DiVincenzo. What, how do you even explain this? Why is Jalen Smith guarding Josh Hart? How many times is Andrew Nemhard going to completely fall asleep in this game? You're guarding Jalen Brunson. Could we see both ball and man? Look at Andrew Nemhard. You haven't seen Jalen Brunson yet. What was that? Buddy Heal is going to have all the help in the world right here. All the help in the world. So don't gamble. Just guard. What does Buddy Heal do? You gamble right there. So now you're instantly playing off your back foot. Off balance. Look at all that help you have. Doesn't matter. Because you let Jalen Brunson get in the paint. So the Knicks are ISOing Jalen Brunson on Buddy Heald. I mean, Aaron Nesmith isn't even paying attention to Josh Hardy standing at the elbow to help. Andrew Nemhard also coming to the paint to help you. So just get up and guard. Slide your feet. You've got help. You can get beat a little bit because there's help everywhere. But if you just backpedal and backpedal and backpedal and then mix in a few gambles while you're at it, you're giving up open jumpers. You don't need to trap here. Ben Shepard can just be in help, but if you're going to trap, Pascal Siakam's got to leave instantly right here and get to Miles McBride one pass away. Miles Turner would take both Knicks two passes away. But you're not rotating, so you're trapping. It's a pointless trap. They're going to pass out of it. The Knicks have numbers. Someone's going to be wide open here. Box out assignments are all messed up. Andrew Nemhard, it is, you're up one with a minute 52 left. Why can't you just guard? Why are you gambling, taking yourself out of the play? So now Aaron Nesmith's got to go take the ball late. Good. Sprint back to the three-point line, getting in help so Aaron Nesmith can play up. You are going to jog back to the three-point line, and now you're not in help, and that's two points plus one. Again with Buddy Heald. Just guard. Look at your eyes. You're paying, you're looking at the scoreboard. Pay attention to the ball. You're not ready to, you're looking at the scoreboard, you're off balance. Wow.